Hi my friends, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever heard about APRS chat? No? Me neither. So let's have a closer look after the intro. What is APRS chat? Um, according to this post, it's a project by Sarah Rose Giddings. Call sign is Alpha Delta 8 November Tango. And it uh, yeah, is a web service that allows ham radio operators to have all their incoming APRS messages, regardless of SSID, saved in history on the web platform. This will enable operators to never miss a message, and so on and so on. So let's find out. Let's uh, jump right to it. And this is the start page of APRS.chat. This is uh, straightforward. You have to uh, write your call sign and you need an APRS passcode. You get this passcode on one of many sites you can find on the internet. Just Google for like APRS passcode generator and then enter your call sign and it will generate this passcode for you. Let's get back to the chat website and um, paste the passcode in and then you have to choose a password. I am already registered, so I click to log in, then enter my password, log in, and that's the welcome page. And to play around with it, I have two radios here. Uh, first of all, I have my old, where is it, Yesu FD1D. That's one radio and uh, the VGC, the N76 which is connected to the smartphone app. The smartphone is not on the internet, uh, it's in flight mode, uh, except uh, Bluetooth is on for the connection to the VGC. So let me switch over to my um, overhead camera here, to my desktop camera. Okay, uh, the FT1D uh, is set up with my Austrian call sign. Uh, it's Oscar Echo 4 Juliet Hotel Whiskey 6. And for testing purposes, the VGC is set up to my US call sign AH6UN 6, and it's connected to the HT app. And I want to point out again uh, the Android smartphone is in flight mode, except uh, Bluetooth is enabled. So there is no internet connection on this phone at the moment. And because of the poor GPS reception on my desk uh, and also better reception of the APRS Digi, both radios are placed here at the window. And now let me try to send a message from the VGC using the smartphone app to my Yesu, uh, I'm here on the map, here you can see my QDH, forget about this OE4JHW-7, uh, that was the setup previously used on my VGC, but OE4JHW-6 should be somewhere here, here we go, let's click on it, and send message, and simple test message and send. And as you can see on the Yesu, uh, yeah, it's dim, I know. Let me hit a button, then you may see it better. It's too late. So the message arrived on my FT1D. Now let's switch over to APRS.chat. And on APRS.chat I received a message from AH6UN saying test. Right, there is also a second one by SB9WP. Hey, that's great. Uh, let's answer him with uh, 7.3. Don't ask me why I received my test message several times. In the meanwhile, uh, four times um, maybe the message took different path to reach the server. I have no idea. I tested this again in the last couple of minutes and uh, sent another two messages, test and test two, 
and those messages also received multiple times. Now let me try to send a message back from the web from OE4JHW to AH6UN and let's say test is OK73. Okay, yeah, and after a couple of minutes I'm still waiting for the reply on my smartphone app. Um, I can see that the uh, test uh, is sent one more time. I can also see it on the radio, but there is no answer. Let's wait for a couple of minutes. Yeah, after three minutes or so, or two minutes, um, test and test two is still um, transmitted here, back and forward, back and forward. Let's try to send another message back from the web. Test uh, two, seven, three, no, test number two, best seven, three. Let's try it again. I'm wondering that AH6UN-6 is not on the map. That's interesting, there is no position. Okay, after five minutes of tweaking and trying around, I, yeah, I turned on the, uh, uh, first of all, uh, Wi-Fi. So now I have internet connection on my phone and I turned eye gate, etc., everything on. And let's try this one more time. And let's see if I receive something here. Okay, <laughs> after another five minutes or so um, trying and testing, um, yeah, I was not successful. I haven't received uh, the message back from the web to the radio uh, for any reason. Um, I don't know. But uh, in the meanwhile, I also have created an another account for my AH6UN call sign. And now let me try to send a message to OE4JHW-6. So I send it to the other radio. And this is a test. 73 is the message. Yeah, and one eternity later, I haven't received anything. So let me uh, try another service, which is find you. My call sign is AH6UN and I sent a message to OE4JHW-6. And this is a test from find you. 73 and then let's send the message and this should be out and let me log in to my OE4JHW account and let's see nothing received here mm. <laughs> Maybe it's a bad day for APRS messaging. Okay, message sent. Uh, here we go. I just refreshed the web page and now it says message sent. Um, okay, it was received by the VGC radio, which is set up with my AH6UN call sign. Uh, what about here? Let's see. Okay, I received the message at least here in APRS chat. And what's on the radio? Nothing so far. Let's try this one more time. Send another test number two from find you. And let's hit send message. Let's see if I can, ah, here we go. Now it's here. The radio is flashing, that was successful. 
Yeah, in my opinion, this service is still in some kind of beta phase. So not everything's perfectly working right now, but at least it collects your uh, APRS messages here on a yeah, a central point, let's say, and uh, that's nice. Maybe I'm too impatient while testing. Anyway, um, now it's up to you. Test it, have fun, and I'm waiting for your comments down below. 73Fox, thanks for watching. Bye bye.